do in part two. Okay, so this is part two of a um, penetrate that I've constructed out of um, a really fortuitous which I thought things had gone badly wrong to begin with but um, it was uh, two uh, print that I did that didn't take very well on the paper and it ripped away and what I was left with was a very battle scarred version of the portrait that I was trying to achieve that looks a bit like, not exactly, but a bit like that one. And, um, yeah. And it also left with on the plate the bit that it hadn't taken onto the paper. So I took the one that I'd got, which is this one, where you can see the blue lines of the eyes and the face there. And I took the, uh, I took that, uh, it's just the print itself, and then I took an, a print of what was left on the plate anyway and just activated that, the um, acrylic on that print plate and lifted it and it came out as one clean image and yeah, I wanted to compress them back into one. They were cr kind of crying out for me to do the penetrate thing, which is what this is to it, and see if I can co recompose an image out of uh, yeah, what was essentially I mean I liked them as they were, don't get me wrong and I've got them, I've got good photos of them I can do half decent prints of them if uh, people wanted them as but I like to push things as far as I can so I felt they were worth doing that with right, One of the things that I mentioned on part one is that there was going to be a, an additional piece of information and so I'm uh, going to get around. It's been uh, an interesting experience over the last, I don't know, it's a month now that I've been doing these tutorials and the numbers for things has gone up quite steadily and it feels like it's sort of organic as people that I'm interacting a lot with. It's not just algorithm based, shall we say. And uh, one of the things that I mean, not that, like, um, if, yeah, if it's something that you're, like, if you're taking a lot of information from, and I hope that's, because that's the purpose of me doing this, that there's things that I can hopefully impart to you and make a difference to your uh, image making and gel plate using. Um, if, you, if it's been helpful to you, uh, then I, what I'm going to start doing is offering or asking, well not asking, but I'm going to put the facility for to make donations to towards, and I'm not going to ask for any line. I I will carry on doing it for free. I I don't mind doing that at all because I like I know what it's like to not be able to afford to get the tuition charges, and that's part of me doing this. But if it's made a difference to you, or it's made some sales for you, or you know you feel like you can then I would yeah, be very I would be very appreciative of it but um, I'm not you know I, I'm not comfortable with asking people to so I will just leave it wide open it can be as small and as big as you like you know I, uh, what I'm going to do is and I've been working on is I'm going to offer if you if people who donate more than 30 uh, 30 pounds um, I'm not sure how that will change in uh, the currency transfer, uh, depending on where you are in the world. Um, I will send out to them, for that, some handmade prints that I've been doing. These are ones that I've done from uh, the Stiper Stones that were quite popular during the week. That one's quite an abstract one. Don't know which way I want to put that one up yet, so. Um, and yeah, they're handmade monoprints, and it, people who, like, if, yeah, obviously that's to persuade people to, but you get a, your own handmade piece of artwork with it. So, uh, anyone that donates over £30, I'm quite happy to, uh, yeah, you'll have an, and they are handmade, they're original, yeah, and it's. Frankly, it's a bargain, and you get the tuition as well with it. But yeah, 
if if you feel so inclined that would be absolutely fantastic it's not something i'm going to nag about i might occasionally raise it as uh just to raise awareness of it but uh yeah it, it's i'm not a very commercial person and i get enormous amounts of pleasure out of just doing the work and seeing how people receive it it's uh yeah it's it's a good position to be in and i don't want to abuse it so if you if you can by all means donate it would uh, it, it it would make a difference to me but i understand if you can't and i'm not i want you to come back and watch more whether you can or can't okay so uh i'll probably see you next week or the weekend when i um do another free tutorial on on facebook thanks a lot for watching and if you can uh, wherever you are like and subscribe as appropriate thanks and see you later